One of my favorite technical analysis tools is called uh, Fibonacci retracement. Uh, for this, I'll be using the website called tradingview.com. It's free, easy, um, so that's why I use it. Um, now, I'm going to be using the Apple uh, stock price on a daily basis. Uh, I go back all the way back to June of uh, 2018, and I will draw the Fibonacci retracement, and then I will explain what it is. So this fork looking thingy right next to this little arrow and then I click on it and then I go down to fib retracement. Uh, just to do it again, it's right here. There's a little arrow and then I go down to fib retracement. Then Fibonacci can be um, drawn from the top to the bottom or bottom to the top. So for this initial example, I'll go from the top and then I go up the high of the day for that one and then the low of the day for my bottom. So if your colors look a little bit different, it's because of your settings. We can talk about that in a few minutes. So let's draw this and then that's it. So let's explain what it is. Well, during any trading day, the price moves. If there are any sudden movements and there will be some sort of a reaction in the market. So if the price starts going up too fast, too high, there will always be traders who think that the price went up too fast and too high, and therefore they will believe that it is overbought and perhaps it's time to sell and you will see a reaction. If the price goes down, just like here, too fast, too low, then there will always be people who will think that it's been oversold. Um, let's do a dip buying, call the bottom, and then it, it will rebound. So based on this reaction of the market uh, theory, uh, as the price move, uh, based on the Fibonacci numbers, um, there is an expected natural rebound at 23%. That's pretty natural. So the market reaction to this sort of drop, I mean, notice this is a drop from $233 all the way down to 142. This is from October of 2018 to the beginning January of 2019. So you're talking about in four months, the price went from $233 down to $142 for a company that, that's Apple. That Consider the size, you're talking about a trillion dollar, $800 billion company. So given that, the market probably will believe that this is oversold and therefore it's time to dip, do, you know, call a bottom, do a dip buying, and then let's buy some because it's cheap, it's on a sale, whatever you want to call it. So the, the first reaction is, is, is expected to be about 23%. And right here, you can see that. In fact, so much so that you have a little bit of a gap right here that the price actually jumped to this 23%. The second expected Fibonacci line is your 38%. And right here, you can see how this becomes a resistance. While the price is trying to move up, the bulls and the bears, they basically resist trading this stock above the $176, which is a 38% bounce. And you see it tries it once and then it tries it twice and then it takes the third time to be able to break this. Now, let me explain what these, four, the, these um, percentages are. If you take the $233 all the way down to $142, that's about $100 off a drop, about $90 off a drop. The 23% is 23% off that $90 drop. So the 23% off that $93 or $90 drop. Now from 192, that is about $21. So you add that to 142 plus that $21, which is the 23% of the entire descent, which makes it a 163. And then the 38% off the $90 drop is 176. That is about $34 added to the 142, to the bottom. So 38% rebound 
of the initial drop. Now, notice the 23%, we don't have much of a resistance, but at 38%, we have a strong resistance right there. And the third try, the price breaks it. And then the fourth one is a 50%, which is not really a Fibonacci, but nonetheless, it becomes a support. Once it goes above it, it has a hard time going below it, and it can't really break it at the first attempt. Now, at a 61%, this is considered to be the reversal. If the price breaks above the 61% with a significant volume, it is considered to be the reversal, and then you would expect the price to complete that ascend all the way to where it came from. In this case, we had some fundamental issues in the market, the trade war with China, uh, Apple had significant ties to Chinese imports and therefore the tariffs are really affecting Apple and therefore the fundamentals actually broke our pattern. Um, technically, we would say that at around 198, you had a very strong support. It didn't really hold all that much. And then you have uh, 187, also didn't hold all that much. And now we're back down to 176. Now we could draw another Fibonacci and then this time let's do it to the other side from bottom right here to the top. Now notice that this time we're actually going up from $142 all the way up to $215. So you're looking at about $70 of an increase in the, in the case of about five months or so. Now, the first drop is 198, and that's a naturally expected reaction. That as the price moves up this fast, this high, there will be people who think that the price went up too high and too fast, and therefore it's time to take profit, sell, get off, um, call the top, whatever you wanted to call it, the price sees a reaction. That reaction drives the price down to 198. Now the second one, you see how nicely this is done? At 187, you have a very nice support. It takes about one, two, three, four, five days, and it's now oscillating around that 50% to 38% level, and 50% seems to be a, um, a current, or 180, 178 seems to be a good support at this point. Now, if the price continues to descend, 61% is your reversal, and if you see a significant volume below this, then you would expect the continuation all the way down to 142. If in case this cannot be broken and we actually see an ascent or some sort of a rebound, then the 50%, which is not really a Fibonacci line, but that actually means that this support line has held. Now keep in mind, all technical analysis is, um, is self-fulfilling prophecies. If you have enough many people believing that 50% or 178 is a good support and therefore the price will be very hard to break this level, then there will be enough people buying this and therefore the price will rebound. Self-fulfilling prophecies. So Fibonacci is one of those technical analysis tools that a lot of people use and it is a very nice tool to set your resistance levels and support levels. And in this case, we say that the 180 seems to be a very strong, or 178 seems to be a good, strong um, support level for Apple. Although nowadays the fundamental seems to be the, um, the strong factor. So thank you.